I'll end the battle there. So I probably lost that unit of Illyrian Reavers, but uh, it's fine. I mean, we're just going to continue moving through and uh, destroying all of those settlements owned by the Blue Vipers. Then we can come back and consolidate. Although I do have to be a little bit careful, I think, of the rebellion that's probably going to pop up in the province we took off the Blue Vipers originally. Victory was assured. Cool. Take anything so let's of value. Sack it. I go. And. And there, what we want to do is move back because we do have this rebellion to deal with. Sentinels of Zeti rebels. At least we're rolling in cash now. Let's go take Axel Ottle back off them. The Asur need me for the king. Okay. And Aramir did level up. We're going to improve his weapon strength. Just so that he is an absolute beast on that dragon. More so than he is already. Uh, let's have a look at where the Clan Moor's army went. They went back. Alright, well if we're, they're going to do that, we're going to come out and collect that treasure. Oh, we'll move over to this one as well. The Mysterious Island. Just pick up a few as we go. Right, he's got plenty of spearmen, hasn't he? So we will get a movable force now. The extra weapon strength, melee defense, and magic resistance for spearmen. So his spearmen should be pretty damn good. Or well, just better than they were anyway. Uh, so Aramir is sieging that. Can we get that attack in this turn? We can. Okay, cool. She's now a confident attacker, which is nice. We'll move her back into the settlement. Nice. And she is level 10, so what we've got to do now is decide what we want to do with her. Like we can get dedicated to Hoeth, Assyrian, Kernos, Isha, Mathlan, Ukon, and Adeoth. I think we were going to get Adeoth, Adeoth, weren't we? Yeah, because she has dragons in her army. Yes, indeed. So that will reduce the upkeep of her star dragons slightly. Which should help us out. Nice. So here and not move still. I think we can upgrade this now. <laughs> and I'm probably going to upgrade the colonnade here just so that we don't have to deal with rebellions there anymore. Get the gold main up, get mine upgraded. Get the Elven Artisan. Get the Royal Garrison there as well. And all this cash upgrade the Royal Garrison at Quitax and the Elven Fairground. We'll do the same here. Upgrade this to the Elven Artisan and the Royal Garrison. Now, I guess what we can do with er Earthadane actually is come over, help defend the Fortress of Dawn. Now the Fortress of Dawn, like I said before, it does have a pretty badass army. So I'm not too concerned. But at the same time, like, a High Elf Rebellion could be pretty powerful, if I'm not too careful. Alright, let's end the turn there. Jason Schultz says, this doesn't seem like very hard difficulty, and trust me it is. You can tell by the public order penalty. I get a minus four public order penalty across the board, which is a pain in the ass.
I mean, it's not easy. Like, I'm having to manage multiple fronts, and I, you can see, like, how many massive armies these other nations have. I've just managed my diplomacy quite well. Like, it's just crazy. On the end turn, if I'm not skipping it, you can just see exactly how many armies these dudes have. Deliver your terms and I shall consider it's nuts. Well, the last defenders. Finally. Their faith in me has waned. Last defenders, they were traded allies with me. So they're giving me quite a lot through trade, I think. But obviously, getting a bit bored of that. Probably will keep the trade agreement just because it's mutually beneficial, but I don't know, they could break that too. But the Blue Vipers are basically dead now. So is Vampire I'm Coast. Texas. High Law Master of the White Tower. Blimey. Everybody ending that military access. What's the warband of the crow doing? Oh, never mind, it's just a rebellion attacking Hugh a little. The foul scent of vermin permeates this place, my lord. Do Right, we got a rebellion to deal with here. Fortunately, we do have a garrison at the altar of the Horn Rat, so they shouldn't be able to take me out straight away. I'm just a bit concerned about Axolotl. Leave nothing of value. Like, do I just raise this for now? Because claim what is ours. I thought it would be good to just occupy it originally, but I'm going to have to go back and deal with that rebellion, and they're just going to take it back sack off it. me. So I could sack it, I could raise it. Tear it down. Leave nothing of that. I think I'm going to sack it. And we're going to move back to the Launching altar out. of the Horned Rat. We're going to stand outside because I want the public order to pop. But Ilan Yudara here, she leveled up again. We'll max out flesh to stone. Alright, let's destroy this rebellion. Battle calls me. I'm going to take that replenishment. Because it basically fixes up our Illyrian Reavers the whole way. You're now what I'm going to do is move down to Lansler, and we're going to destroy that settlement. Then what I'm going to do is move up, raise, well, sack and raise the Floating Pyramid, High Sentinel, Monument to the Moon, all that lot. Well, there was talking about maybe controlling them because when we end up at war with the Cult of Pleasure, we can just take pa uh, Pahua, Pahuax <laughs> and uh, get a full province. I don't know why I can never say that, that's really weird. Um, no, need my war token stash. What's Vectig doing? Alright, we'll get army performs better in campaign. We got the wax sealed rations, which is nice for fine, uh, for minus ten percent upkeep. Okay. I'm gonna move just out of range of being able to be attacked. The council is disappointed. Plans is discordant. Imminent Rebellion that we know about, and that is everything. Got plenty of cash to spend, so may as well do that. And we're going to get the Elven Embassy. 
maybe. There's not really much point though, is there? I was talking about this before. Because we don't have any ports in the province, the Elven Embassy is not the most ideal thing to have because at the end of the game it becomes like almost completely pointless. As soon as I don't have any more trade agreements, the uh, agreement, the tariff agreements is completely pointless. We'll just get another plaza. I think we may as well just do that for now. Up to sort out the income. Currently we're being raided a lot, which is causing the... Um, it's causing the public order to go down. Also, vampiric corruption is going up in the province, so is chaos corruption. We're going to have to sort this one out eventually. But Yolandia here, he's ready to go and destroy another rebellion. So we're going to get rid of that. And Let us go. We'll take the punishment. Glory to the and we're going to jump in the province for this turn, just for the replenishment. Cool. We're good. Oh dear. Our dragon's OP, indeed crafty. Jason says, Peasant Spears are OP. <laughs> Spearmen are jolly good. Alright, so Skymaster, extra charge bonus and weapon strength for dragons. Very nice. We're gaining 7,000 a turn. We get into territory where we can actually give Yolandia the rest of her forces. So considering she's so close to home, I might end up sending her back to the Turtle Isles to recruit the rest of her army. Because we we originally held off on it. But what we could do maybe is get some Phoenix Guard in our army. That would be pretty legit. Alright. So I think everybody has moved. Like this is just out of range. In terms of buildings, may as well have this upgraded. And I will upgrade Hula Toll so we can get the defensive building there. Okay, that'll do. 18,000 in the treasury right now. Now the other thing that she can do is after she's recruited some troops we'll take her up to the Pillars of Unseen Constellations and take that because that will complete our province. Okay. Infighting. I think we'll take the... Attempt to reach common ground. Extra influence is always good. Plus we get... Like, I mean, that only costs us 1,500. Cool. Jason Schultz is saying probably the hard difficulty you have to play them all out or get spanked by auto results. Auto resolves pretty forgiving. I mean, I'm playing on very hard. It's not too bad. I think it's mainly because I have star dragons in the army, so the auto resolves very much in our favor. Well, that's job done there. Alright, so we will move into 
this province. What we're going to do is recruit into our army some Phoenix Guard. Thing is, when we upgrade her, we're probably going to have to go for Heart of Flame. Actually, that's good. Yeah, Phoenix Guards work well for Heart of Flame. That's good. Okay, nice. What's the other one we can get here? Extra melee attack and melee defense for... Phoenix Guard units. I think we just give her a bunch of Phoenix Guard. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, what else could she use? Maybe some Silver Helms or Shields. And maybe some more Archers. Gonna have eight melee forces, six range forces. She's got two Star Dragons. I guess like Cavalry would be the best bet to just finish things off. Silver Helms of Shields. Yeah, I'm feeling that. It's going to take four rejoice. turns. But once her army is built, she's going to be pretty damn unstoppable. Heckless, meanwhile. Heal my power. A steady gonna destroy hand is needed. lands left. And we're going to sack that. Lovely jubbly. There is a Chaos Rebellion here. Go destroy that quick. But I think we're just going to chill. And Aramir can destroy the Rebellion. Although I might just allow him to hang out here. Actually, he doesn't have time to. We're going to have to just destroy this. 13% replenishment. Don't mind if I do. Okay. We'll crush them for good. And basically replenish our entire army. That works for me. So now we're going to move up towards Axolotl. And we're going to have to try and head towards Itza because that's going to have a rebellion. There is a rather large... A rather large um, garrison there. Land select, we can upgrade to the Royal Garrison, get this to the Elven Fairground. And maybe we should get the grazing pastures just because that plus 30 growth is pretty big. The only other thing I can see us having to do is get the plaza. There is going to be another rebellion in this province, which is annoying. Hmm. Quite a lot of ports. Elven Embassy is probably a good shout. Alright, let's move down here. We're going to move towards the Mysterious Island. We will take that, move towards the Fortress of Dawn. I'm going to upgrade this estate. Just because we have the spare cash now. Aramir did level up. And we're going to continue with Woundmaker. We have the Imminent Rebellion. The Atidza that we know about. We need to choose a research. Let's just buy the military advancements. That will be everything for this turn.
too much going on. Waiting for the turn to pass. I'm probably going to not skip this just because I want to see where the armies go. Where are they going? It's very tempting to like attack that army on the water. I feel like we might have the auto resolve in our favor. Don't waste your breath. Your words cannot move me. 3,000 for a peace treaty now. Wow, they have a lot of cash. Don't waste your breath. Yeah, we're not going to bother with that. Words cannot move. These guys want a peace treaty. They can pay us for the privilege. They like declared war on us and then took a peace treaty later on without doing any attacks whatsoever, which is rather silly, but there we go. Are we going to attack Axolotl or are we just going to raise it this time round? Kind of fed up of messing about with the vampires. Alright, we are under siege. Fortress of Dawn. And we have another event popping popping up. I think we want the happy pop uh, happy populace. So we will organize a chariot race. Cool. Lots of stuff happening. Our technology was complete. We're gonna go towards Dragon's Bond. Right, let's destroy Lance left. Battle calls me. Another victory. Raise that. And then what we're gonna do is move up. Do the same on the top side. So I've got something in my eye. Alright, I think we're good. Um, yeah. Aramir, go destroy Axolotl. None shall live. The Asur follow strength. For the king. And then we'll move up and defend Itza. We should be able to get there in time. One thing that I'm not sure I have done is given Yolandia stuff. Oh, we did give her stuff. Okay, cool. Trickster's Helm's fine. Although, the Armour of Destiny is probably better. And we gave her the Sword of Strife. But again, the Blade of Leaping Gold is pretty damn good. He has the Ring of Hukon, actually. Which is nice. Get food taster. Very not moved. Let me just check Eldarian as well, because there might be some followers we can get that help with where he is. Oh, he's just got the two public order ones, hasn't he? Yeah. He's the reason that the Great Turtle Isle never rebels. <laughs> it's quite simply because Eldarian's there. Quite funny. Right, we will upgrade the Southern Sentinels. Citadel of Dusk needs its Elven Fairground upgraded. Upgrade the Upgrade to a colonnade there, and I guess we'll just finish the promenade at the caverns of the Great Bat. Like, as long as public order is sorted, I don't really care. Right, we don't need to be untainted there anymore. So I guess what we'll do is just go tribute to the Phoenix King. 
You're not getting much income from the, the settlements, but it doesn't matter. Well, that's fine. We're still benefiting from the minus 10% construction cost. Uh, we're not actually causing any more untainted, which is a problem in that province. In the northern Great Jungle, things are still a bit of an issue. Yeah, I think we're good. Right, let's move on to the next turn. Oh, I forgot to move him, didn't I? I left one of my armies. Annoying. I will get the Mathlands Blessing there. That gives us physical resistance 25% for the army, which is actually pretty damn good. And with that selected, I might be able to take out Clan Moors, depending on where they move. Vipers seem to be rebuilding their armies, but they're never going to be relevant again, which is good. Okay. So, Clan Moors is moving towards Chupa Yoth. Tall, I think. A bit of an issue. You need me? No. Fury Fair! We're on the siege. Oh, we're definitely going to have to come and help this. Because those are five units of Sword Masters of Hoa. And the best we got is White Lines of Trace. Yeah. Okay. Well, just as well we have Erdothane on his way. Hopefully he'll be there in time. Um, meanwhile, we're going to have to just keep an eye on Vectik here. I don't think he can take Jupiter Yotol, uh, just because we have a decent garrison here. There's quite a lot of archers. which should be more than enough to just demolish a lot of these weaker units. Aramar is destroying Axolotl this turn. The Asur have conquered. Okay. Oh, nice. That is a really nice thing that we just got. You could use that. Hector's currently has the Opal Amulet, but plus twenty percent ward save is pretty damn good. So we shall give him that. I guess the other thing I could do here is maybe we make peace with the um, with the orcs. I did say I was going to destroy them, but honestly, it might be worth just like piecing out for now. We go say hi to the vampires on the far side with Teclas. Yeah. We could also come down here and try and deal with the heirs of Morcane. Kind of like a lot I want to do on this continent. One thing I'm actually going to do is uh, send a desperate intervention to Nagarond. We may as well do that. Cool, Lorne not moved. Teclas.
The trouble is with me going up and attacking the blue vipers is if I just raise all of these settlements then all that's ha gonna happen is the cult of pleasure is gonna take those settlements and currently they're in a defensive alliance so what I'm gonna do we're going to peace out with the door or with the orcs for now We'll just take what we can get. We'll just peace out. Just because I just don't want to bother with them attacking me in the north anymore. Right, then what we can do with Teclas is march round to Lax over here. We can start hitting them at the top. Meanwhile, I can also hit them at the bottom and take the Vampire Coast. Alright, Aramir leveled up, so we'll finish off Woundmaker, 737 weapon strength now, and uh, Elena Dara, what an absolute boss of a maid she's been. We'll give her the, uh, the missile resistance. Okay, 